<laughs> How's it going out there? How's life being for treating you? Holy oh, shit. There's a slight white bar on the top of the screen. Oh, I'll fix that. Don't uh, just ignore that. Give me, give me a sec. Just shit. Just gotta, gotta, gotta get rid of it. Wait a minute. There we go. Problem solved. Mission accomplished. Welcome back to the magical land of I don't know what I'm doing with my life. How the fuck, uh... How have I become an affiliate since the last episode came out? I don't know. That just happened. Apparently now I'm this. I don't know how I make money, but... Woo, I guess? Let me check something real fast. I don't... I don't know what to do with all of this power. Nor do I really understand what this power actually gives me. But, uh... But okay. Oh, uh, whatever then. Ooh. Where do we leave off? Uh, clubs. Uh, I've got Kumatoro here. How's it going? Uh, what are we doing? Don't want, don't change the pressure, please. Just, okay, yeah, no, it's, that's still normal. Okay, uh huh. Come on, smile, will you? You told me not to change my facial expression. Come on, man. This DCMC song is about to. Okay, well, we gotta. We gotta enjoy the DCMC. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna walk in here and see what's back. Oh, that, that's, that's a whole lot of nothing. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, never mind. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, shit. The brakes ripped, stay up, I'm fix it. I'm just kidding. I kid a lot. Never mind that. Buy the DCMC goods. Oh, yo. Let's go, baby. Oh. There's, these are really expensive. The DCMC stuff. I'll take the pamphlet. Because I know exactly how useful this is about to be. Because I know my cheeky cheeky sneaky secrets coming up in the future, but I'm gonna need to buy that. However, it is technically a weapon. And well, it sucks. It is uh, undeniably uh, complete garbage. So that's just nice. However, it'll be good for later. So just, just ignore that fact for right now. But anyway, welcome to the DCMC, which is... Definitely not the Runaway Five. Yeah. Ah. Basho, Magic, we OJ, we getting all the zizmizmiz, and Lucky. All right. Yeah, that may or may not have just told us the entire DCMC's names. There's no seats in here to take. Okay, you know what? Actually, there are seats in here to take. Oh, come on now. Let me just get over here. Hello, good sir. You smell like a dog. Okay, the dog and a kid. And a place for dogs smell kids to come. Wow. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Well, fine then. Fuck you too then. Whatever, man. I'm not gonna deal with you and your pig masks. How's it going? No lucky bass player. It's always me, wig. Oh. Okay, can we just start? I think I need to, like, talk to everyone or some garbage. It's one of these, like, I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I got a scary-looking guy over there. I'm sure he's our head honcho. Apparently there are people way, way higher than him. Yeah. Let's go on other random guy. Hopefully the encore starts soon. No one after each concert, one of the girls, he gives everyone a free DC. I have bought a pamphlet for no reason. Rip my money. <sighs> Tonda Gosa! My line of sight is that girl who's at the beach. Damn, to me, like, she likes me. So I think I could like her too. Is it it? Is it her? Are you the one? Tonda Gosa! My line of sight is at the beach. So I think she really likes me. Oh. Okay, well, they have match made in heaven right there. How's it going? Now, you're really late. The DCMC concert's already over, man. I was just waiting for your encore now. Okay, alright, well, let's just leave. Oh, huh? I said in the restroom. Okay, well, it was a one-time fluke. Come on, man. Oh. Oh, that's Baccio. That's, one, that's a member of the band. <laughs> this isn't the dressing room. Okay, bye. Huh? Oh, I messed up again. I gotta, uh, okay. It's, uh, hello? Ah. Why should we walk in? I gotta catch up all of my clothes. Oh, man. Thanks a lot. Look at this. Oh, sir, pardon me. Would you like a bag of bit? Oh, yes, of course. I got some fries. This is definitely the- <laughs> they weren't selling well at all, but whatever. 
This is definitely a place to... Oh, are we doing this again? Okay, no, it's looped. All right. Fun is now over. The fun has ceased. Oh, there's one guy who makes the whole world go round. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. I guess it could have been a woman or even a kid. Oh, okay. How about you? Oh, it's best. Hey, it's Tessie. She's one of the ones from the village. Looks a lot like Duster. I don't know. There's something different about him, and I can't put my cook by hide. I guess talk to the ladies? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Front receipts belong to them. And. Ew. Oh. Okay. Okay, well now what am I doing? Do do I inv oh okay. I'm gonna start if we keep walking around like this. Okay, it's talk to everyone then waltz around for a bit. Walking like this is exhausting. I'm not surprised you're a dog. Do you just always run like this, Thomas? You just know immediately who that is, just based on his walk cycle. Drake, sir? No. Water. Oh, hey Thomas. Oh no, water, water, water in a place like this. I mean, come on, water. Hey, my little baby. A fizzy soda for my boy, and a big sea cola for his dog-like friend. Oh. No, that was like a default thing, Lemon. I haven't set anything up. I just saw that. I'm like, hmm. There's a lot of stuff I don't have ready, like emotes, notifications, all that kind of garbage. I ain't got art, so I mean, at this point, I'm just like, fuck, that, that's just done for me. I don't know what I'm doing. They haven't told me. Also, yeah, they're buying me soda. How's it? Is it fizzy soda? Oh, we're getting soda, dude. Yo, that's rad. I don't see you here. Okay. Oh, she, God damn, she's fast. Let's don't change your person on your face. That's all I need to talk to you. Right, at the DCMC concert, it's over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. She's got a very masculine voice today. I'll right, see you later. And you don't change your expression. Okay. Did I get a soda, or am I just going to leave my table bare? I'm talking about I'm talking about it. Such a ladies, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, shut your face, Thomas. Hey, who wants to listen to music? It's the Runaway 5 all over again, except even better. Also, nice touch. The keyboardist looks almost identical to the not, like, like the sixth member of the Runaway 5, who was also a keyboardist. The one you never get to interact with. Tone You Enjoying the show? Oh, my pork. Looks like our time is up, sad to say. Here's one last song for you. Here's King P's theme. Hit it.
Got to say, I think I enjoy the DCMC's music a little bit more than the Runaway Five. It's just my kind of style, but it's it's real good in this one. My ears are ringing. Fantastic. Can't. I mean, I know I was a little bit quiet during all that. It's because you can't. You can't talk over a concert. What are you doing? That's the whole point. Come on, man. You're here to listen to music. You can't have someone just gabbing your ear off during the whole thing. You'd go deaf before you could understand them. It's too loud. Okay, yeah, give me another one. I'm gonna sell it. Lots of air bubbles going on today. <laughs> Hang out in the lobby? I'm hanging out in the lobby. Tell me what to do. What am I doing with my life? Okay, fantastic. Oh, welcome to the- oh! <laughs> oh, we have, like, air bubbles out the wazoo right now. Oh, hello. Why is there a cave underneath the, uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, why are there cave slugs underneath this club? I got a major look and a saltwater gun. Saltwater guns kill robots, made you look turned enemies around. Just like, you know, if you were collecting those sprites. Because again, unfortunately, we don't have Duster, the man whose whole job it is to, you know, do that. Anyway, let's just nuke all these dudes from orbit. It's been a while since you've actually had a fight, you know? I guess not from your guys' perspective, watching this in the future, but it's been like four days. It's been a little while. Some fun stuff's happened along the way, and yeah, I'm an affiliate now. It happened this morning. Like, like just this morning. This is the first stream as an affiliate. Welcome to the Fable Time! Oh. That secret patch was handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky junk from all those slugs. I'm gonna open the shower real quick. Just, just, uh, just relax here. You're already in the shower, lady. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hop in the shower real fast. She's talking to me from the shower. A little bit past that point, huh? There are phases, lady. Yeah, right there. I wanted to go- Hey! Some way or another, I wound up in this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. Even a hot spring there, if that's the only thing. You can talk afterwards. No, I want to go outside. Exhausted. Dirty, ain't you? Shower fresh and you right up! No, I want to go outside. You wanna hurry up? Come on, you guys reek. Go take a shower. How about you, doggy? You wanna go shampoo you all up? Huh? Watch your language, young lady. Damn. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What's your fucking language? Oh, yes, it's everyone's favorite Earthbound thing. After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey, they discussed the hummingbird egg from Hobo Osohe Castle, and how it meant missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC band members appears to be an amnesiac duster. And they discussed the mysterious army that has radically transformed Tazmili Village. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. I want to be stronger. It was around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Say hello to uh, one of my favorite areas of the game coming up. That's a fun match to sneak myself. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, thanks for telling me the story. That's fun. I would have to humble egg until Duster gains memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster try talking to him. Maybe I'll remember some he sees you two. There are guards outside. Not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. Yep. Surprise. Let's ladder and go through the attic. You can get the Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. 
I'll get all the DCMC members together. I need to explain the situation to them too, so you in a little bit, yeah, okay. Or, you know, I could just fucking leave. Alright, bye. Oh, god damn it. Did you say something? Uh, no, I didn't say nothing, dude. Oh, it's just a dog. There ain't no dogs here, dude. <laughs> anyway, welcome to another one of those really hard dungeons. It's a dungeon, surprise. I really like the song. Specifically, there's a remake I'm a big remake remix I'm a big fan of. Pure bass. It's a good time. I am greedy and love to collect things. Would you like to buy some of mine? Yeah, of course. Hello, good sir. Oh, yeah, you have, uh... I think you can actually... I think the drop from those, like, bird sticks is even better than the better stick, but yeah. Sprinting Bomb, Pencil Rocket, really good. I remember that, Pencil Rockets. Bug Spray, Major Look, yada, yada, yada. Here, let me, uh... Hopefully run back some of my money. Stick. Uh, we've got some hot spring eggs, some egg rolls, some bread rolls, another stick. Just right off the ground. DCMC pamphlet. I got two of them now. Ah, oh, saltwater guns sell for so much, but it's like an... It does so much damage to machines if that ever comes up, which I know they do, so... I suppose. Here you go, Boney. I guess we'll have to just save our money for right now. Wait, don't doesn't it automatically get deposited in nowadays? No, I need a I need a frog. I can't do that with you. Can't even hear that. Like can't even like get right into that song. Yes, yes, yes. Come now. DP stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. We have a shit ton of cash. Never mind. Here's five hundred bucks. You lose what you lose half of what you have on hand, but I'm about to take a big chunk out of that. I did not know that was actually five hundred dollars. Easy grip stick, hundred. And uh, I could buy a pencil rocket, but nah, that's real expensive. Don't need to go full hog. This is, I guess, I could show up what happens if you don't happen to have it on you, like that level of scratch to just throw away. That's a map. I need to go get that. And there's the item storage guy, just the attic guide. And there you go. You can see, you have a you have a direct path to the end if you ever wanted it. It's the blue paths. But yeah. Just in case someone uh, felt so inclined as to need even more guidance. Yeah, I don't know why uh, this is just a dungeon, but it is. There's a guitar over there. There's a mouse over there. There's some arachnids. Except these are the three exclamation point arachnids. They're arachnids! Wow, Lucas hits like a damn truck now. Holy shit. You die? Okay, good. Yeah, alright. Oh! Hey, did you see that? They bit with its venomous fangs. They're being smart. They know that it's venom and not poison. <laughs> it's venomous, not poisonous. Am I still am I still poisoned though? Can can that not like carry over into the Oh no. Oh dearie dearie me. We have nothing to cure that on hand. Yes we do, wait a minute. That's right. I'm a PSI man! How's it going, my then? We got a dog. We have a dog party member. It's a great time. It was a greedy mouse. It's a, actually, it's a greedy er mouse. We already fought the greedy mouse earlier on in the game. Hello, Mr. Man. Welcome to... I don't know really if I should introduce myself something different, but I've hit the... I've hit the big time. I am now the big man in town. Oh, there's a dude over there. That's probably going to be important. Yeah, this is one of these games where everything immediately respawns the moment you leave. <laughs> Great. It's just like, it's like I'm literally just walking all the way back to the entrance. I might as well go heal. He just took something. What did you take? 
God damn it. Look what you did, my thunder. He showed up and took my shit. Look, this is uh, probably your fault. I don't know how, but uh, just like magic, that's how it works. Anyway, how are you doing? How's, how's your life going, huh? I got a pretty good time coming up. I got a pretty good thing going on about nowadays. If I'm gonna go full heal, might as well just go hard. How are the kids, Sonny? Boom. It would really be interesting to see Lucas actually have his... Oh, I guess fucking Smash Bros again. Actually have this move set, but in Smash Bros, he'd be a very interesting character. Buffs and debuffs and healing, rather than... I would just be a mage now, guys. Shit, I mashed too hard. God damn it. Now I'm dying to poison. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Am I still poison? No, that, that, that cures poison. I don't know what they put in those hot springs, but they make you feel fantastic. Alright. Also, I believe the name of the song is The Attic is a Dungeon. That's just the name of the song. <laughs> it's a little bit on the nose now, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, this is a really, this is one of those, like, really early game dungeons that's actually pretty hard, because this is the first time we're really getting into the meat and potatoes of the game, because Lucas is, you know, the main character. And we're still effectively early game now that we have, like, a main team kind of thing going on, so... It's a dote. So life's just a little bit harder. This, this, this whole dungeon's effectively a hallway. It's just like an endurance test getting through it, you know? Takes a little bit of time. It's a bit of a drag in the boss of this area. Oh boy! Don't think he's gonna be any more, any easier, you know? Uh. Bug spray, okay. I'll kill arachnids. Oh, and there's bats too, I guess. Oh, of course. Uh. Get him, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not gonna use that. You just took my HP, you bastard. Here's your bug spray. And we got some tarot. It's an elder bat. I like the concept. Boney is a lot better execution of the whole. Poo mechanic from Earth then from Earthbound. Poo doesn't hit hard at all unless you get him the uh, the Sword of Kings, and even then, not nearly as much as someone else. But it's like with Boney, he is a guaranteed damage. You are constantly having someone doing damage pretty much each turn, just guaranteed. You know, it's super nice. Oh, okay. Maybe we need to have you stop trying to kill me. That'd be nice. Here's a, here's a bread roll, Lucas. Have fun. Don't take something. Don't do it. Okay, good. It's like, whereas with Pooh and Earthbound, he's like, oh, he's not using magic or items. He's useless. You're having him guard, effectively, and that's all he's doing. Nowadays, no. Boney can... No, oh, that's PK Love. I want to play Pokemon. Boney worries like a combination of Jeff and Pooh, where he, he only, he's effectively like the item user. But he's also super fast, and he doesn't have any other special mechanics, so, yeah. He's just good. So you constantly need that damage output. His basic attacks, well, not great, are every turn, like I said. Gotta keep building up that advantage, that tempo. Slowly grind him down, you know? Get out of here, you... Drum, drummy bastard. Oh, I went the wrong way. I should have gone a different way earlier. Uh, I don't care. Whatever we don't get is whatever we don't get. Oh, now there's a drum and a guitar. Gently weaving guitar and the beaten drum. Good names, I gotta say. 
Electric shock attack. Okay, well, hello there. You want to not do that, good sir? Marching attack. Oh, thank you, Ninja. Just just have that big old running zombie animation appear right in the middle of the screen. I still have not decided to make that be a thing. I'm dying. I These things are scary, apparently. I'm dead now. God damn it. <sighs> Woo. I got a first subscriber. And you got the kind of subscribe subscription that's fucking cheating. So what's, uh... Okay. I don't even know what subbing gives me. I mean, like, don't people have to, like, pay money normally to sub? Well, then what's the difference between a, pri a normal sub and a prime sub? Is it just the automatic good stuff? I don't know. Okay, well, yes, money. I, I know subs do that somehow. I just don't know the finer details of anything. Also, hello, Chris. Oh, Chris, how's it going, my guy? That happened today, by the way. The whole affiliate thing, the fact that you can do that. I now have money. Give me all of it. Feel free to donate to my Patreon and give me $7,000 a month. I don't even have a Patreon. Oh. Okay, cool. Ooh. Yeah, you are the first ever sub, Ninja. No one else has subbed. I mean, technically over here it's stating that I did, but that, that doesn't count. That's me. That's, that's cheating. No, Mython hasn't subbed yet. He showed up, said, hey, how's it going? What's up, affiliate man? And then immediately left. He was here not even too long ago, like 10 minutes ago or something like that. He just showed up and just said, v he just did it, you know? Welcome to the Attic Dungeon, by the way. Don't you guys like Attics that apparently is full of garbage that wants to kill you? That's my favorite. Oh, that, that's a dead end. Oh, Mython's still here. Oh, how's it going, Mython? Kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for a while, but how's life? Unless you came back. Woo. Well, thank you, I suppose. God damn it. Why does everything in this area poison? I'm dying. Are you directly getting our money? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I didn't even know subs gave me money. I did set up my bank account. It should be going into, like, PayPal. The same thing as, like, the donation button down there. I should probably put that on something else, but it works right now. Don't, don't fight the fucking guitar! Okay. No. No, stay away! <gasps> so, uh, on the topic of the video game, oh, be careful, guys. Watch out before they, uh, don't, don't let the guitars kill you. It doesn't end well. Guitars are bastards. They can unleash a lightning AoE attack, which is definitely not a lightning, because I know lightning, and lightning isn't that good. Also, this is still a dead end. No, you fucking bat! God damn it! So many enemies that want to heal! Don't you do that! No! You son of a bitch! Welcome to the hardest area in the game, an attic. Truly the most fearsome of foes are found here. Bats, spiders, sentient pissed off guitars that have the power of lightning. You know, what's in every attic. This is also the attic of a club, so it's not like your standard household attic. This thing's huge. There's also just murder around every corner. Uh, there you go. I can't use life up anymore because I need to save it for love. I must save it. Oh, wait, which way's the right way? Okay, that's the right way, but I want to go this way. No, no bad bat. God damn it. Welcome to the biggest struggle. Bats. I don't know why the bats are just so tanky. They take, like, three full turns of smackage to die. Oh, hello there. How are you guys doing? 
I said, I, I was watching it since the dick and bread. I was in your crabs, you were cracking it. You were going to run around, around Jack. And so what? I was beating him up, and he said, Summon enough bread for you. Oh, thank you. But it's just so as if it was red more. Oh, after it's been done, it's time to wear the rabbit out of some of these pieces that it was a test camp. You know, part of eating bugs, and his mom's a dick. Oh, thank you. Would have been waiting about it long. Every time later would have powered a Toblerone. You don't deserve this Toblerone. Some nice stuff was inside. Oh, I ate it right there. I just put something in my mouth and I don't know what it did. That did that fully heal me? Yes, that was a full heal, just in a box. I got some nondescript nice, nice stuff, and without my command, they just ate it immediately. Oh, okay, I think these are all gonna be like full heals. Okay, I need to, I need to not be doing that. Okay, we need to save that other full heal just in case. You have a heart condition. And, and alright, there we go. And then we come out here. And, and we gotta go fight this. No, there's a the guitar spawned afterwards. Uh, the warm heart I talked about earlier. Um, is a me oh the drum just changed the background beat so I can't combo them as easily. I can't use the same combo, huh? You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh yeah, they're gonna kill me. Why are these dudes so hard? The bony's dead after that. Just you know, just fucking kill me at this point. Just let me die. I just want the chest. I want to embrace death. But what I was saying is, yeah, that whole warm in your heart thing is an unused mechanic in the game that no one can really figure out what it's all about. The various points in the game, you can feel like something warm in your heart, which means uh, it increases a value in the game called your happiness or whatever value. But no one knows what it does. It's seemingly an unused thing in the game. It's either unknown or unused. I don't remember which, but... At the end of the day, they both effectively mean the same thing. Just kill me, it's a full heal. Thank you. But yeah. Apparently, eating that that nice stuff in a chest upped my happiness value. I get, or maybe it's a niceness, but I think it's happiness. I'm not sure. Anyway, welcome back. Horrible murder aside, that's a spider. I do not like this dungeon. And this dungeon does not like me because it's a hallway. And also the guitars and drums are bastards who just kill me in about two or three turns. And they also take like four turns to kill. Oh, by the way, here's the boss. There's a plane, you see. I'm a wooden base. I'm still in my prime. Ever since the base below showed up, I've been left a rot in this moldy smelling attic. So much frustration. I'm gonna turn this frustration into violence and take my stress out on you guys. You're gonna be bawling your eyes out. I never asked for this. Oh, that got worse. Oh no. Great. Please kill the guitar right now. Just a jam. Yep. This is a unique attack only if all three are alive. Jam session. Oh my god, they all missed. Except for one. How am I alive right now? Come on, kill the guitar, please. Jam session. Don't hit Bony. Don't, don't, Bony's dying. I don't have any way of reviving him because it's so early in the game. I, I can't, he's just down now. There's nothing here that can revive him. The revive stuff's not in the game yet. Jam session. Oh, I can keep doing this? What the fuck is this shit? This is garbage. Okay, I did it. Woo. Mission accomplished, everybody. I am a successful man. I didn't... I knew they had that attack. I didn't think it was that threatening, though. And I've already done optional fights. I've effectively done a little bit of baby man grinding. 
Did not think they were that scary. Oh, God. I, gu I guess let's go get, like, another level or something and just hope it's enough. I, I don't know otherwise. At least this is the kind of game where you don't load a save, you just get brought back to your last save point and lose half your money. So effectively, as long as I'm getting experience points, who cares? But, ah, jeez. Does this tell me my XP? Yes, 95 and a 517. Okay, then. Whoa there, buddy. Let's go ahead back to the entrance, actually, and try to, uh, buy some stuff. See what happens. Gotta kill the uh, greedier mice because they like to take my stuff. They're the worst enemy here. It's like they got a real good cavalcade of fun enemies. It's like they have one enemy that spams poison attacks. So you have to use PP to cure it. They have these bats that can not only suck your HP, but I mean they can make themselves confused, but that's kind of their good attack. But they're like the tankiest enemy here for like the three normal enemies. And then the last one is a mice that can take your healing items. So you have stuff constantly sapping your PP, stuff, stuff sapping your inventory, and stuff that takes a while to kill, so also effectively sapping your HP and time. Don't even get me started on the two like band enemies. Drums constantly changing up the rhythm, so even if I was using combos effectively, I couldn't be as nearly as effectively. And the guitar that does like 30 damage to both of you every turn. Ugh. Bit of a struggle and a half, it seems. 91. Okay, we're gaining a ton of XP. It's like, yeah, wow. Like, he leveled up. I didn't even notice when he leveled up. Do you sell anything? Okay, you're, this isn't the right screen. Spiders. And they're sapping my pee pee. I need that PP. Alert! Lucas is low on strength. Be careful. Congrats on the sub button. Congrats on the fact that I keep dying. I'm being killed by sentient pissed off attic dwellers. It's a fun time. I'd highly recommend it. My inventory's full. Can't carry any more items. Is there any, like, equipment here? No, of course not. Anti-paralysis, antidote. It's like... I mean, I guess the pencil... Ro I mean, I guess... Is the stream lagging? Uh, Mython and Ninja, is it lagging for you guys, or is that just is that just Chris? Because I, I don't know why it would be lagging. I have no control over something like that. I haven't changed anything. Did becoming an affiliate cause the game to lag? Oh, now give me that. Yeah. 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 It's not really lagging that much. Alright, Chris, get it together then. Fix your shit, my guy. I'll give you I guess yeah, I guess we'll just get a, a pencil rocket. Okay. Oh shit, Lucas feeling feverish. That means I'm getting PSI in a sec. That's good. It must be you, Chris. Like I said, everyone else seems to be fine. It's just you. Rocket, that'll help with the boss. Now I can't run anymore because I'm feeling feverish. I guess I can't really complain because I'm about to learn a new PSI. I'm just gonna use the uh, the last full heal when I get back over there, so this will be perfect. Just spam my stuff, doesn't matter. I'm so when you sub, you get emotes, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, tier 1 subs, I'm guessing 1, 2, and 3. And then each tier would unlock, like, emotes or something like that. It shows you how much I know. I know the general gist, but it's best to confirm because I have a dude who knows in here. If you have emotes, which I do not right now. Yeah, but alright. It's because I have no art for nothing. I am the complete... Like, I'm the antithesis to the whole concept of art. Uh, that's not that's not my specialty in the slightest.
Problem is, I don't have any, like... That's neat. Huh. So is the, do you mean sub badge, that little, like, purple star icon? You mean... Cause you currently have three icons, Ninja, and you're... <laughs> you have a really long name because of it. Twitch Prime, Moderator, and Subscriber. <laughs> My son has Jack. Now, oh, that yeah, down goes Boney. It's fine. Don't worry about. Oh, maybe it's not fine. I don't even have any money to lose. Kill me all you want. I don't care. You can't stop me. I am a beast. There's a full heal right through this door. Can you not do this right now, guys? Okay, well. Huh. Neat. Can I have a turn, please? No? Okay. You know, the worst aspect of poison is the fact that it makes you have to scroll through three more text boxes, and it let my HP scroll too far down and I died. Just because, not of any actual damage it dealt, just the fact that it takes longer to get through. Oh, what did I get? Defense up alpha. I don't think that's too important right now, but it's neat nonetheless. I can run now. That's nice. Welcome to struggling with enemies 101. To be fair, okay, I, I can't even say that. The reason I died last time is because I was being a dipshit and not healing at all. I was just trying to rambo through the thing because there was a full heal at the end of the place, so I was like, hey, you know, fucking whatever, man. Who cares? But I do not think that's a healthy uh, outlook to take into this. So, whatever. Plus, I can run now. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. Oh, no! You just took my big city prize! I need that! I hate fighting these things. They're taking my items. First you take my PP, then you take my items. God, this fucking dungeon. Then they're gonna take my health with poison. I got some cheese back, though. What's better, peculiar cheese or a bag of big city fries? Don't ask me, I'm not the one who knows. That's not my job. I guess let's just heal up in the meantime. I have a, I've only have one more full heal, so I might as well just min-max for right now. And fight what I can. That's feeling so little strange. Am I gonna get another level from this, or... 18? Yes, I am, actually. Damn. I've just come over here and killed it. There's no enemy over there. Oh, uh, let me just come up uh, uh, over here and then kill him now, and then that'll give me a level. Mission accomplished. Man, I wish more people were engaged in, with uh, Mother 3. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and people are just like, Hey, you know, whatever, Mother, who cares? Makes me... Do some nice rice stuff. Oh. Okay. That was rice that time. Also, I'm still poisoned. That did not actually fully heal me. That's what we call a bag of lies and deceit. Someone lied to me. Okay, let's just hope that we live, hmm? Shall we? We've gained some levels, we got ourselves a pencil rocket, we're fighting a bat, all good things. All good things that are definitely very helpful for me, you know, getting through this area. Fighting this bat and, and spider, very important. Stop attacking, Batty. You have other attacks. Mainly make yourself confused. Oh no, you've got to, like, min-max your damage on Boney, don't you? <sighs> We're not gonna have a fun time. Rather old... Oh, I can't even kill this dude in advance. 
<sighs> Two. Okay, we'll use an item. Yeah, it's, it's uh, RNG manip. Yeah, trust me. Hot spring egg, ancient banana. Just use the nut bread, man. Just, just use the nut bread. I don't. How's this cheese? Oh yeah, it it varies from person to person. That's an ant. I should be using these antidotes. I'm an idiot. Bread rolls. Those are good healing items, though. Yeah, I guess I'll just wait. Damn. I was actually looking through it. And I saw that there's, like, a unique, like, icon that appears in chat whenever someone cheers. Based on the amount of bits they, uh, cheered. And I saw the very highest, like, sprite that they have is a 5 million bit cheer. And I'm like, who's cheering this much? Who's going out of the way and saying, yes, this is a good investment for my money. Here is a, uh, pencil rocket, by the way. Hope you enjoy Boom, 100 damage. Oh my god, that just did 200 damage. Please don't kill Boney. He's the one I need to live. That's no longer the case? Oh, that's no fun. It looked fun, though. Please kill the drum. Thank you. No, don't use love. Use life up, and you just, uh, put a hot spring egg in your mouth. Let's really hope eggs are good for dogs. Defeat caused the jealous base to fly into a rage. This offense increased, and oh dear. Oh. Jesus. How much are people, like... How much are people, like... Uh, uh, cheering? Yeah, that's what it's called. Cheering for that to be, like, a regular occurrence. Okay, I need to buff my defense right now. I got greedy. Give me that defense up on Boney. Have Boney... Probably just put... I hope he likes cheese. He doesn't like cheese! It's only a 20 heal, no! Shit, 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 shit. Let's just do another one of those. Yeah, no, don't sniff him. Bag, bag, bag of big city fries. That'll work. Boom. It's only like... It's only like four damage that I'm actually decreasing. By the amount of damage he's taking, I just hit him, Boney. Hypnosis? Oh, great, thanks. Uh, he doesn't have any more healing items. Here's a, here's a banana. Oh, it worked. Oh, it didn't, it didn't actually work. Solo jam session. Yeah, that's really weak in comparison. Don't you... Oh, he's faster than fucking Lucas. Come on, come on. Thank you. Okie dokie, then. Let's just have you heal yourself and have Boney just keep doing damage for right now. Say hello to uh, a headache and a half, the boss. If no, don't you fuck. Thank you. Oh, he dodged. Nice. All right. Okay, Jesus. I uh, just... Uh, just hit him. You know what? Just hit him. That's all you need to do, Lucas. Just, just hit him. It's fine. And then, and then heal yourself up again. Oh, and Lucas is dying. And no, he's not. Hit him again. Please stop living. Please stop being alive. Oh, thank you, Christ. Jesus, this one baby man dungeon took like 30 minutes. Uh, you can tell I'm very good at video games. Oh, well, you know, an attic. One of the scariest places in the game, it seems. Alright. There's a hole here, looks like you can jump down. Yes. Because it's right above the... Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I showed up. <sighs> what took you so long? I almost died, lady. Thanks. Okay. Oh, I just, just... I'm gonna go save first, actually. I just 
just, uh, if you'll excuse me. Priority number one is talking to this frog. And it's finally over. How's it going, uh, not Duster? Tonda Gosa. Who are you? Yeah, great. To know each other. That's, that's true, I don't even remember my real name. Living my life is lucky for years now. Okay, all right, lucky. I hate asking you. Tell me everything you remember, too. Yeah, all right. Definitely tell us something very important is taking place here. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever before I came to Club Titiboo. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with great care. Don't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew was the egg was really important for some reason. And I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. And then, after walking, and walking, I buried the egg and set a big dirt clod in the valley where I knew no one would ever find it. I still know where it is. I haven't forgotten. You go to a cliff near a giant waterfall and... Unknown Valley. It works so hard to protect this day. Let's go right now. Come on. But am I really Duster? I mean, if, if I am this Duster person, that means I have to leave the band, right? Duster Lucky. One of them will cease to exist after today, right? If it turns out that I'm Duster, what happens to the DCMC? If I continue to live as Lucky, then what was that egg thing all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. Of course you can. All I could do is ask Destiny. Yeah. Yeah, right. If Destiny decides it, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. We have a way. Same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure what to do. Only way to properly consult Destiny. Stone Cheek Clippers. doing anything. Hell, Lucas will play some stone sheet clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you'll go. But if he loses even once, you'll stay in the DCMC and keep playing the bass. Something tells me this isn't a very fair competition. Oh, you know, leave it up to Destiny, but have Destiny go in a one in five plus odds chance. It's actually much more. Like, are much lower chance of succeeding. Because Stone Sheet Clippers is just rock, paper, scissors. So it's effectively like whatever the odds of rock, paper, scissors, but you win five times in a row all against different people. So any pattern or psychology you have going on doesn't work. Oh, yeah, fantastic. There's a new wooden base. I can also just cheat, by the way. The most part, everyone always does a specific first move while playing this game. Explains why Bakio loses the magic. No! Shimio starts with stone. It's up to you to believe in that or not, though. Shoshimi always does stone. I always wind up. Uh, Shimmy does stone. Magic always ties with Shimmy, so magic and Shimmy throw stone. And they say Bakio always loses to Shimmy, so that means. Baki always throws clippers, I guess. No, not yet. I'm not done yet. And then whenever me and Magic and our band lead play, we always wind up in a tie. So that, does that mean you all show clippers? No, I don't want to see. Yeah, okay. So, Duster and Bakio throw scissors. And uh, Smiz and... I don't remember his name, throw stone. Yeah, so you throw rock. I win. Yeah. Okay. I luck my ass. I just cheated. So you throw stone, so paper. 
Yeah. And that was really easy. Oh, by the way, if you, um... Ooh, it's not cheating when they volunteer the information. By the way, if you ever lose, he's just like, oh, wait, man, I went a little bit. I went a little bit before you. That's not a fair game. Oh, we could try again, you know. They don't even let you lose this, even if you didn't for some reason try to... Oh, by the way, you can't challenge him until the end. He doesn't let you. Ready? Yeah. If I win this, Lucky will stay in the DCMC. If you win, Lucky will go with you. Lucky? Cool with that. By the way, if you name him Lucky at the start of the game instead of Duster, he has a different name. I do not remember what it is because I think it's something in Japanese. Or I'm just miss. You know, we could just look it up. Let's just let's just do some sick googling. Oh boy. We gotta find it out. Where's the trivia? I gotta find it. It doesn't tell me. I don't remember. If uh, I just looked at his Wikipedia. I just don't know. I'm literally looking up trivia. Fuck you. Don't you get on my case. This is trivia. His name is Gorgeous. Oh, okay. And both of which are references to the Runaway Five, as two of the members of the Runaway Five are both named Lucky and Gorgeous. Why are you looking up a free dog? Don't tell me what to do. I wanted to remember what his name was. His name is Gorgeous. And yeah, both of these are references to the Runaway Five. All right. So they actually got multiple. The keyboardist looks like the keyboardist from the Runaway Five, the, the infamous sixth member. And we got this. Do clippers. I'm gonna do sheet. Tonda Gosa. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ready, set, go. He actually did do what he said. I just threw clippers, so... Oh, okay. I see. So this is Destiny. I guess Lucky probably is this Duster guy, after all. Also, that Ready, Set, Go, I remember being, like... Di like, they had to, like, re-record it, because it was in Japanese before, I think. Don't worry about anything else at all. Yeah, we're going to Unknown Valley, yada, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 okay, just girl, girl clothes. Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. All right, bye. Out of my way, damn it. Oh, my God. She just killed two people. That's what I guess. You're the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. These, these, this band has been together for three years. I feel kind of bad. Hope we meet again someday. Sure we will. Don't go forgetting the time you spent with us now. You dig? Lucky. So don't remember anything. But I'll come with you guys anyway. Okay, let's go. Our oh boy, back in the party. It's been so long. My favorite has long since returned. And he's still wearing the wig. And now I'm feeling feverish. <laughs> Best character back in the party. Doesn't even need psychic powers. Who cares? Yeah. They're dead. By the way, Kumatora, just like Lucas, has a very slightly different spy sprite because it's been three years. You have ruined a bad though band though. Let's go. We finally have a full party. It's been so long.
Uh, there we go. I'm not living with myself. I've been dead for years, Ninja. You can't stop me. Unlock the door. What is it? Someone on the stage. What? Why the fuck is... Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky. Please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much we've wasted... How much time we've wasted laughing together. But guy in the sky... Oh, how he loved that wasted time and those helpless smiles. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, amigo. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Tondagosa, you magnificent bastards! Oh shit, that's right, the bird! We're telling Wes we've saved his son. I forgot about that. And that's chapter four. Yeah, that's what that tower does, by the way. We've never seen it until now. That's what this mysterious tower does. It does that. Okay, yeah, great. We just You just have the capabilities of doing that, I guess. Chapter 5. The Tower of Thunder. It's also very weird, but the denizens of Tasmali have very clearly shown that they have no idea why lightning is striking. I'm very confused as to how they don't know. Oh yeah, definitely in the right hands. You know, in the same hands of the army that has effectively ruined our life multiple times. And the lives of most of the village. Duster's whole family's torn apart effectively. There's only two dudes, but... Like, Lucas has already lost half his family. Oh wow, this is not a good time for anyone involved. This was one of my favorite games of all time. It's like a really sad game, in all honesty. That fucker who shocks monkeys, he's a part of the bad guys team. That's facade. Should be a hole around the ground straight north of here. I think I went through it and I hid the egg somewhere on the other side. Let's head in that area first. We may or may not be doing... It's a batang tank. Look at this party! After all this time, look at them! Look at how many party members we have. Also, uh... Because there's a lot of party members swapping around in this game, I'll effectively just say it right now. This is our main team for most of the game. Salsa, Flint, um... Oh, we instantly kill these dudes now. That's fun. Can you drop the stick? Now. Oh, 
Okay, whatever. We got a little bit of traveling to do. Give me a sec. I'm showing off a secret. There was a stick inside. Wow. That was really exciting. There's also a uh, cattle... That was a... That was a cattle snake. But we don't need to worry about that right now. Instead, we need to backtrack a bit. There's something very, very important we need to do. We need to go back to Tazmilly after all of this time. I mean, we'll get a little bit of experience for Duster and Kumatora on the route, I suppose. A route, I suppose. But really, there's something very important we need to do. Why is this the main team? It's just the main team. These are the four main dudes. This is the main squad. There are a couple other party members, but... Flint and Salsa never really come back. This is the final team. It's just... This is the team. You get rid of them. I can't get rid of them. They're the main team. Oh, she has offense down. That's good. Also, she also knows healing, which is amazing. Uh... They still have... You know, he still has his same inventory all the way from back in the day, but now he has the DCMC boxers. Matching DCMC boxers. boxers. He has his own merchandise. And she has the same garbage she did from before. And because now that Duster's back, we have all of his stuff and his rope snake. So there's that too. And that's the very important aspect. We now have access to the rope snake, which is uh, Lucas's grab from, you know, fucking a Smash Bros. But honestly, it's not even Lucas's item. It's Duster's, but they just kind of the like the whole group owns it. That one's a lot more excusable, you know. The snake bag is better than the rope snake, but don't worry, you'll uh you'll grow to love him all the same. Maybe, probably not. Stick around and you'll see us punch mushrooms to death. It's a fun time. Yeah, Kumatora still really sucks for basic attacks. Oh, it's so much better now that we have other teammates. The pony is still wearing his disguise, and I don't know why. Oh, Jesus, this dog is fast. It's a mushroom. Get out of here. I don't want to fight your dinguses, and I hate you. I will say it's a main team, just because I know you're very clearly feeling impassioned about Salsa, mainly because it's the one character you've properly seen. But you will still get the other dudes in your party as the game goes along. I'm just saying this is, like, the main team. What do you mean, Chuck, Chuck Hoon of the Void? Do I punch them and... Oh, you, like, punch them and they just, like, fade out of existence. It's a great time. These are animals that shouldn't be alive. Do you really think any of these people should be alive? No. No is the answer to that question. I mean, look at them. Look at this and tell me it deserves to live. It's a slither hen and it deserves death. Living is eternal pain for these things. You're getting PK Love Alpha and you're gonna enjoy it. It's also really weird that one of the main party members is my dog. Boney is like one of the final four. Why, you're so mean to Lucas. He's had a hard life, my man. Honestly, Lucas is one of the more tragic video game characters in existence. If you can think of something bad that happens to a kid, it's mostly happened to this guy. Nothing too graphic or extreme, but for a normal kid who is already a really, like, he was already really insecure, not insecure, uh, fucking... Uh, what's the term for... He was already an introverted crybaby when he was young. And then, oh shit, his mother died. And then, oh shit, his brother is dead, too. 
after going to try and fight actual fucking demons, uh, demon dragons, and then that same dragon almost killed his father. It was a really good time for this kid. And then top of everything else, the whole village he's lit raised his entire life knowing has been slowly decaying in morality. It's a really good time, you know? Oh, and yeah, by the way, the people that effectively manifested the events that killed his mother are now running the town. So that's even better. No zombies. Very illegal. It's been- uh, we never- you never would have thought to immediately after getting Duster to have come back here. Did you? No. No is the answer. Is this- Host Bazaar has closed up shop. Thank you for your patronage over the years. Have you heard by the name of, uh, Master Chief? Honestly, I don't know his story. Oh, Kumator is feeling feverish. Oh, don't worry, Lucas does- the Lucas' sad train doesn't end, by the way. That- that doesn't- that hasn't stopped. I'm just saying that's what we've seen thus far. It gets worse! That- there's a reason why the commercial's tagline for this is, Remember, no crying until the end. This is the kind of game that has genuinely almost brought a tear to my eye. I'm not the kind of man who cries too much at games, but holy shit, you have to have a heart of stone if you've played through this whole game, and the ending of this game does not have you at least almost getting a little misty-eyed. There are very few games that have got me to that point, but if you stick with this game, not only does it get better and more charming and really good, but the end of the game, oh god. That does not feel fantastic. Paralysis Alpha. There we go. Also, if you'll notice, we're going... We've effectively backchecked... Oh, hey. Why are you here? I'm surprised you came here. This cat's so boring now. I could just die. I was sent an adventure three years ago, but there's been nothing at all since then. Nothing. If I didn't come back and talk to me just now, today would have been yet another empty day, leading to another empty tomorrow. So I would leisurely chat. No. Oh. I want to talk. No. I see. Okay, whatever. Alright, bye. Oh, shit. We gotta do this. Get him. It's still Duster who does the animation, too, which is great. Get it out of here. Is this dude still here? He is. I'm gonna kick his ass. Oh, I'm coming for you, Ghost Knight. Don't think you're getting out of this. It's been three years, baby, but I can still clap you. Boom. Yogurt. We got some yogurt, baby. Get hyped. <laughs> yogurt hype. Ah, uh, yes, the Harvest Moon protagonist. Like, for example of, like, how specifically sad this game is, I was watching a video earlier today, which was, again, another fucking Smash Bros. We're talking about that, but... Honestly, it's the only game Lucas is directly relevant to nowadays. I was watching a video of all of the Palutena's guidances, in which is like the Easter egg talking thing for Smash Ultimate, and the one they specifically talk about Lucas is, this is probably the most introverted uh, fighter you've ever fought, Pit. I'd be kind of careful around him, and just other been like, he's had a not a fun time. Also, hello. Welcome to, uh... What we call a secret boss. You weren't expecting it, were you? The moment you get Duster back in your party, all the way after Club Titty Boo, very start of Chapter 5, head all the way back to effectively Chapter 2. Start it over. Go fight the boss of Chapter 2. Except now, if you'll notice, he doesn't have a mouse floating around in the sky. There's something a little bit different this time. We, we may still die, by the way. I have no idea. I am Lord Passion instead of Mr. Passion. The music I am playing is an old ancestor's eighth movement. Listen thoroughly, of course. Ah, yes, I thought you would like it. Actually, my music is the only thing that's splendid. I've got two new curls to my hairstyle. What do you think? Isn't it wonderful? Yes. 
<laughs> Carpetless hairstyle, if you'd like. Oh, 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 yes, of course. Uh, uh, no. Oh. Artistic. No, nothing's like you gonna get. He actually does have another curl in his hair, actually. What a legend. Uh, and you're like, fuck you, desert. We're going, Duster. We're going the exact all. Yeah. Uh. I guess just let's start defense upping, I suppose. Uh, scary Mask lowers his offense. Defense down, and then Bony Snip. Player at a sorrowful medley. Duster is crying. It smells like a ghost. It smells like he's weak to fire. Okay. Debuff his attack. Debuff his offense again. Get a double attack down. Lucas is effectively just going to be spamming defense up for quite a while. I just want to get everyone buffed. Right now, we're effectively here to debuff him. Up our attack and lower his defense. Sent everything but the kitchen sink flying. He's starting out with the strongest attack. Now... Uh, this is taking a very long time. Hey, you're not a dog. You don't know how dogs smell. Don't you even start with Boney. Shut your mouth. He's better than you. Defense up Kumatora. Lower his defense again. Kumatora. Just, uh, throw a bag of pork chips on yourself, I guess. What does a weakness to fire smell like? Uh, ask a dog. Again with this attack. I'm glad I've spiked this dude's offense down so much. Effectively, the meta right of Mother 3 is spam status altering moves. Keep doing it. Uh, I can try a Hypno Pendulum, but I highly doubt that's going to work. You just start spamming some fire, and you, I guess, can you even heal yourself? No. Here's a sprinting bomb, I guess. Just, just just, throw that on top of everything else. Boom. There you go. Oh, shit. That worked. I was not expecting that to work. You can see the beat keeps changing based on the music, so it's really hard to time this music in particular. Effectively, I just mash. There's, there's, I'm not timing this. Uh, no, you give... You heal... Oh, it's every. Oh, he woke up, so now I can't hear his rhythm anymore. Oh, whatever. I'll just mash like I always do. At this point, we're just like, okay, yeah, I think now we're officially beefy enough. We've lowered his offense three stages. We've buffed up our fen defense two stages. We've lowered his defense. We've upped our offense. Like, dude, this man is having a very bad life right now. Why does this attack take so long? I don't know why. Now's the time we just start hitting him. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not with Kumatora. She does fire. Da -da 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 -da. Send some candles flying. Always a nice touch. You can see what this dude's going to throw at you based on what is actually floating around the room. Like, before he could throw a mouse at you, but now that he has those shoes floating around in the sky, he can actually send a pair of shoes at you, too. Yeah, except for this stupid attack of everything but the kitchen sink still being his strongest move. See, basic attacks are a lot more valuable. See, you send a shoe flying. Basic attacks are a lot more valuable in this game than they were in Earthbound. Where in Earthbound, they're just a means to get through fights. But now it's like your main damaging. Like, you don't have very many damaging items. Like, you don't have bottle rocket cheese for, well, I guess, bony in this game. 
I mean, you kind of do, but not like a crazy amount. And you don't have a third psychic person. Like, you, you had three psychic users in Earthbound. Not in this game. Duster and Boney aren't psychic. So you have to have two basic attackers, effectively. Like, uh, throw, throw some... Actually, there's a neat thing about the previous Lord Passion. He was weak to crying, because he's Lord Passion. He's very passionate. So you can use the smoke bomb, which makes people cry. I don't... And then it... Oh. It still works, baby. And that lowers his accuracy a shit ton, so that uh, send everything but the kitchen sink attack is now a lot more, a lot less effective. And you can see this dude's actually really tanky, because again, you can... He is an optional super mega secret boss, so... There's that, too. Don't I have, like, teardrops? Yeah, I do have eye drops. Here you go, Duster. Stop crying, please. Thank you. Because he has not hit anything for quite a while. Yeah, I have buffed up so much, this man can't do anything to me. That kitchen sink, again, his ultimate move cannot touch me. It does, like, ten damage. Oh, there's a fucking crying again. God damn it. Now just throw freeze at him. I don't have any more PP. Just start hitting him. It's like, fuck it, man. It's like, god damn, I don't care. Make him stop living. He brandished a baton. Because unlike a lot of other games, buffs don't wear off in this game. At least I don't think so, or if they do, they last a very long time, because they're still up right now. That's why buffs and debuffs are very relevant in this game. Fence ups, offense downs, and vice versa. There we go. And you may be wondering what all of this hubbleaboo was about. Like, come on, we went completely the other direction. No one would ever, ever think to do something like that unless they were ungodly certain there was already something here. You know what we just got for killing him? We just got Duster's ultimate weapon. Mystical shoes, baby. The best weapon for the rest of the game for him. Look at him. These shoes look like something out of a fairy tale. Now, it's not strictly the best weapon offense-wise, because by the end of the game, you will get better offensive shoes. And specifically for Duster, his ultimate weapon, the mystical, because it's mystical gloves, like, stick, all that kind of garbage. It's the mystical set. The mystical shoes are the worst of all of them, because this is the earliest one you can get in the game. And by the end of the game, you may just say, okay, I'd like to have a little bit more damage on Duster. Because everyone has weapons that technically do more damage offense-wise, but this gives him IQ, speed, max HP, and offense. That's why it's so good, you know? But anyway, here you go. And I think after that, yeah, we got a whole lot of nothing. The rest of them, I think, are really rare drops from enemies. I know the Mystical Glove and I think the Mystical Stick. I don't know about Bonies, because he is a dog and he has a very unique weapon. Very similar to Pooh from Earthbound, there's only one weapon in the entire game that Boney can equip. Because he's a dog. What weapon does a dog equip? Well, that'll be a surprise we're going to find out later. They balance that instead by having Boney's collars, which are like dog collars, give him offense. So they're effectively defense and offense, meaning they're very important armor for him. But, you know. Alright, there we go. Oh, by the way, Duster effectively, like, or Lucky, I suppose, has no idea what's going on. He's like, okay, these people just said, hey, I'm Duster, come with them, we can go find out what the egg thing is all about. We effectively just ad uh, like abducted him, told him, hey, let's go kick a ghost to death. Again, for the third time. He's now- that's the third time that man's died, considering he was dead before. Do I get anything new here? Have you updated your ship? Oh, he has actually. Wow. Uh... Huh. I'd imagine there's another shop coming up, because where are we going? I don't- off the top of my head, I can't think of anywhere that there's like, yeah, that's a new thing, but... Whatever. Uh, Red World, Major Look. Uh... Magic Tart. Mini Mini Charm sucks. Durable shoes, don't need them. Probably not going to need one of these fresh mints. Get a stick out of here. 
Yeah, it's all fine. Here, let me let me go find myself a frog. Where's that call? Where's that frog? Tokyo drifting around. I'm gonna find him. Where's that? There you are, you little bastard. Do you have a license? Not only are you driving without a license and without a seatbelt, you're also committing illegal transactions. You're going to jail for seven hundred dollars. I really don't think frogs are allowed to drive. Doesn't matter how tiny the car is. That's illegal. God damn it. Here, just fucking Lucas, clear your inventory, please. Sell a no, not a bread roll, those are good. Uh Sell an antidote, fine, whatever. Thank you. Kid shirt for Lucas. Sell the mini mini charm. Buy the kid's hat. And Lucas actually can't equip anything more because he has not had a hat the entire game. Here's a kid's shirt, Kumatora. Get rid of your magic pen and don't eat it. It's garbage, probably. So much faster. Look at how fast that goes. And then the cure's asleep. I don't need it. Lightning quick. Oh, it's earthbound, but so many minor improvements. Hey, Mapson, where am I going? <laughs> oh. Talk about non-map stuff, too, you know. You know what we're going to do? We can go talk to Wes. I don't know what's going to happen, because, again, you're not supposed to be here. This is a secret. But what happens if we go talk to Wes? With his son. Okay. Aww. Aww. Despite the fame, he's one of the he's one of those dudes with a really cold exterior, but a heart of gold. He constantly refers to Duster as a moron, but and but he's the dude who trained Duster to be, you know, a thief. And it's actually like as you talk to him throughout the game, he feels really bad about the fact that he's the reason that Duster has a limp, and he feels like he's completely guilty about that, thinking he's gimped Duster's potential for life. He feels terrible about that. Oh, now we one hit mushrooms. Not surprised. Duster is a bit of a man. Get out of here, mushrooms. You don't gotta worry, Wes. We'll treat your boy right. Now we're gonna kick this mushroom to death. 115, baby, dead. Really, it's more so the fact that it upped his, like, speed. IQ is kind of irrelevant, because IQ is like the, hey, this is how much damage magic does. I don't know if it affects Duster at all, because he doesn't, you know, have psychic powers. Or magic, I guess. It's actually a difference, weirdly enough. I know specifically, like, IQ and Earthbound affected all of the magic users by their magic hits harder, but with Jeff... His IQ determined how easily or when he could repair broken crap. Because every single broken item in that game had an IQ threshold. And once you hit it on uh, Jeff, when you slept at a hotel, he'd randomly be able to fix broken stuff. But I don't know what it factors in for Duster and Boney over there. May need to look into that. Who knows? A doggy biscuit. I think that is actually like a healing item. Pretty much only Boney will like. Oh, damn it. You have to run headlong into enemies. Or else you won't get the uh, insta-kill. You have to hit them with, like, Lucas. They really nerfed the system but kept the spirit around, so now it's not as abusable. And so it's more of a mechanical skill thing rather than just something you can throw around all willy-nilly, you know? So it doesn't even matter how threatening an enemy actually is, as long as they're fa Like, even if you did, like, 9,999 damage, if the enemy can outspeed you, the fight will not instantly end, because the enemy would be getting a turn, which means the fight has value. So it's your speed as well as your attack. Your basic attack, in particular. 
If you can just basic attack them and they die. They don't mean like, oh, I can dump, you know, 50 PP into one attack and kill them. No, that doesn't count. That's cheating. That was the case most fights by the end of the game would immediately end because you get some crazy good PSI. Like, they made PK Starstorm actually really good in this game. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I can give a little bit of foreshadowing. There's actually even more of a reason why it's so weird for Starstorm to be Lucas' final smash. There is one PSI in this game that is above Starstorm. It's not a Starstorm move, but it's like the, another notch up. And I don't know why it's not used. I'm not going to say the name because that's a surprise. But it's such a high-level requirement. Typically, you can beat the game before getting it. But if you get that move, you will coast through the entire final boss and everything leading up to it. You destroy the game. Also, let's go fight this uh, cattle snake because he kicked my ass earlier. Good job, Kumatori. You did it. Hello, cattle snake. He went br Oh my god. Wow, these things are still scary. Even after all this time. Can you die, please? Went Berserk again. I d Okay. See, this is why I saved before doing this, so I'll respawn at the frog. I'm just accepting death at this point. No! Come on! Lucas, no! Duster, no! Then also Boney, no! Come on, Duster, get him! Come on, Boney, get him! And that's unfortunately... Come on, Duster! And we have the king, he's here, baby! Oh. I should have kept mashing through... Oh. J there was one text box before the game was technically won. And I didn't push the A button, and I let my HP scroll to zero when I died. I guess I, uh, I guess I celebrated too soon. Fantastic. Woo. Let's go actually play the game, shall we? We've effectively been, uh... An hour and 30 minutes in this episode for like 15 minutes of content. No, actual story progression, I should say. Here's a fun joke. You see how that's the item storage guy and he's on that bridge up there? Just remember that. I'll talk about it when we get there so you don't actually need to remember it, but it just it's there. How we can't, we don't have access to him. But, you know, I'll, we'll worry about that later. Hello, Froggy Fru. How you doing? Murasaki Forest. Oh, that's some Japanese shit. Who's a weeb? Hey, wonderful person. I'd love to share some of the things we moles have collected. Some worms, perhaps. Let's take a look. Hey, do you sell worms? Oh, yes. Perfect. I love worms. Durable gloves. Better stick. Fly charm. Oh, that's a really good one. Sparrow band. Ooh. Do a ribbon, Capricorn bracelet. Ah, uh, there's lots of expensive stuff around here. Chick bandana, don't need it. Lucas, clear your inventory even with some fucking bread roll, god damn it. You have so much shit in your inventory. Why did I go back to town and buy stuff back there? There's a shop right here! God damn it! Oh, whatever. I have an excess of money anyway. Give me $2,000. Hello. Give me your entire stock. Yeah, it's better than the kid's shirt. That was a waste of my money. Oh, boy. Really knocking this one out of the park, ain't I? Capricorn. Pisces. I also bought Pisces bracelet, so it was a wor another waste of money. DCMC boxers. Yeah, that's fine. And then Kumatora. Gloves are kind of worthless for her, because they're offense, and she's not really a basic attacker. So, I mean, I'll buy it if I have the money, but, you know. Zura Ribbon. And then, oh, I give this to Boney, too, yo. 
I'm like out of money, but that works. Oh, Flint's hat! Oh, oh unfortunately, there it goes. Rip the dream. Whatever, then. I, you looked, I did look. Oh my god, was that a Kanga shark or something? We gotta fight it. What is the pun of this thing? That's a parental Kanga shark, I was right. I'm surprised I, again, can still remember the pun names that they have. Hell, this one's not even a pun. If I remember correctly, the proposed, the reconstructed lion, the proposed name for this dude was the dandelion. But it doesn't quite work, because it's meant to be like, oh, hey, it kind of looks like a flower, I guess. I don't know. That one I know was a proposed name. It's just a reconstructed lion. That's not fun. Should have put like a little top hat. Oh shit, this is a really unique enemy right here. You need to hit him from the front, actually. This one's a weird one. This is a mecha turtle. And their whole gimmick is the front of them is actually the weak side. Because he turns around and oh. Ow, my life. Kill it, please. A BB machine gun. That didn't actually that didn't actually do that much. And it's dead! Woo. You don't fight the tur don't fuck with the turtles, apparently. Jesus. Oh. Can I go back to being a dog? I can go back to being a dog now, right? He's fixed. There you go. <laughs> it took him a while. Yeah, here we go. Oh look just like this. But uh, were there this many last time? Oh well. Oh well. One of them's got to be the right one. Let's just jump down him at random. Okay, here we go. Uh, which one do I want? I want this one. Am I right? Did I do it? No. Probably not. Maybe If I got this right, I'm going to be astounded. Dig, 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 dig. Honestly, now, I just stepped in some sunglasses. I don't even want to tidy things up like I should. I've tripped on helmets before, so no one ever puts anything away like they should. Honestly, now, moles these days. <laughs> There's a reconstructed line. Don't fuck with him. Moles building dungeons? In actuality, mole tunnels are more than just places to live. They actually serve as traps intended to confuse and capture food, such as insects. In other words, the mole tunnels also act as literal dungeons. Moreover, large-scale tunnels over 100 meters in length are not all at all uncommon. If you ever get the opportunity, you should take some time out and watch moles in action. Oh, that's neat. There's a little mole factoid for you. Oh, that's just good. Capcorn. It can... Can I even use that? I kind of just spent all of my money on garbage, but... Yes, I can. It's one of the only things I did not buy for Kumatora. Oh, yes. Here you go, Kumatora. Have a grand old time. It's two defense. It's not that exciting. Calm down, people. I don't know. I don't see where I should put a little ground with holes. I got a ground that stays ground and the holes stay as holes. I think the ground and holes can exist side by side. That's why I'm not digging and saying dig, dig, dig constantly. Oh, he's, he's saying lazy, lazy. All right, fantastic. Sounds about. Oh, that's a lot of sharks. We're not gonna go that way. And now I'm feeling feverish. Fantastic. Oh, the reconstructed lion can breathe fire now. Great! Sure wish someone wrote that one down. That's a little factoid I could have used to know before now. Since when can lions do that? Find the next time on, like, the Discovery Channel or some shit. What's fucking... What tells me about animals? The Animal Planet. Sometimes it's called omelets, Peter May in a dream. What is the so-called omelet? Do you know? As our world really is really small, so there's a lot we don't know about. Omelets. I don't know why, but that kind of excites me. <laughs> Must be good. You're a weirdo. I don't want them. You're talking about omelets. Is this where I go? Did I do it? Hello, good sir. Dig, 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 dig. Are you folks lost? Yeah, aren't you? 
Holes are much greater than it was three years ago. It's incredible, actually. Now, the natural people get lost in here. Yeah, everyone's working so hard. Holes are gonna get more and more complex. May the ground everywhere become a complex hole. A mole hole, if you will. Well, they're still they're still working right now. Dig, 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 dig. Thank you, Jenny Lowback. How's it going? We're currently in a mole hole. Boy, digging holes is so much fun. I was tiring. This is so much fun. The ground everywhere become a hole. A mole-based hole for the moles to hole in. There's nothing over there. Okay, let's go back to the entrance. Uh, I think right there is the way through. Oh. Defense down. Oh, that's real nice, actually. I think it's, uh, I think it's just like right here. Yeah. Let's just try. Oh, son of a bitch. God damn it. I think I'm not gonna kick your ass. Lions coming around. Oh, they just. You just tried to bad touch Kumatora. That's not okay. Alright, you little rat bastard. Now, let me into my hole. Is this a mole hole? Oh, this, this is a magic hole that takes me somewhere new. Hello, mole. Dig, 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 dig. What's the weather like outside? You want sunny? What's sun like again? Well, it's cloudy then. Ah, oh, cloudy. Wow. So incredible. Oh, I don't, I don't know what he was going on about, but all right. I think I did actually find the right way through. It was not that hard. You just had to pay attention to where the light shafts were. That's a really easy puzzle. I missed some chests, but I don't care. Well, I'm going to take a break. Yeah, let's play a game. Try to guess the word I'm thinking of, okay? I'm thinking of a word that uh, starts with M and rhymes with hole. Wait, uh, that's too easy. Okay, well, let's do a do-over then. I know what I'm thinking of. Uh, starts with an H and rhymes with mole. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm not very good at this game. Break time's over. Time to get back to work. You never even took a break. He was still digging during break time. Once upon a time, there was a lazy mole that lived in a hole. A mole would never, ever dig on his own. And so he would stand around by holes under the dug and say, dig, 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 dig. What happened to that mole, you ask? Uh... I don't know the story very well. Oh, now I remember. I see, uh, he lived happily ever after. That was a good story. I like that a lot. A good time. I found the whole- oh! Hey, here's the totally a dirt clod he put the, the egg into. Yeah, this is it. Maybe the egg inside that mud figure. Give me that. Yeah, it's still here. Uh, Thunder Tower, could you not right now? Yeah. I, I'm fine. Was that lightning just now? Oh, that was close. Uh, could... Sir, I need you. Uh, oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's going. He's going fast. <laughs> we got to go get him. We got to stop him. He's out of control. Welcome to the Thunder Tower, everybody. In case you wanted to know where it is, it's right here, right in your face. We are never expecting be right in your face hole now were you oh, we're going all the way to the top okay I guess now we can see it in person can we just say right now how much electricity and voltage this this thing must be able to dispense on a whim just kablam lightning strikes good view of the tower from Bumpy Boo I wonder what it's here for and you want to know how fast that clay thing is? There he goes. It's your boy. Gotta say, I think I recognize him. He's blue. He's fast. Yeah, there's, there's something. I got some pieces coming together on that one. I think I remember him. Don't don't fight the fucking parental kanga bastard. Here's a parental kanga shark. Oh, Duster attacking at blinding speeds. It's my boy. Already taking out the kanga shark before the fight even begins. Don't fight the turtles. They're innocent. Great. There's so many turtles. They're so slow, but they're so efficient at being a wall. Bag of pork chips. Kanga shark. Oh, that's a present I need to add. 
Secret Herb. I think that's the first revival item we've seen in the game. That is actually really nice. The baby Kanga shark just cheered its mother on. Aww. Now you both get to die. Aww. Ain't that sweet? Doesn't that make you feel real good and warm and fuzzy on the inside as I go chase down a sentient blue bastard? Okay, he's not actually sentient. Oh! There's a butterfly in the present. That's fine. There's a car up there. There's a frog up there. I don't have access to up there. I want to be up there. Kanga Sharks galore is up here. Down, down here. Parental Kanga Shark did a drop kick. They just both drop kicked Lucas. He's dying. Quickly kill him faster. Come on, Dustin. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, here we are. Wait, aren't these vending machines? Yeah. Fresh mint, paper fan, oh, they, they got everything. Recollection bell cures confusion, paper fan cures, uh, the, oh, that one's forget, oh, that's like forgetfulness, like you can't cast PSI. Paper fan cures confusion, fresh mint for nausea, paralysis, or anti-paralysis for, uh, well, just you put the piece together on that one. Noodles. Can we also talk about this as a vending machine that dispenses cure-alls and uh, a cup of noodles with pork in it? Pretty good, actually. Secret Herb? Yep. Secret Herb, that's a good one. But I am not a coward, and I do not need to buy items. And then here's the extra stuff. Durable gloves, sharp shoes, fly charm. I think this is the same. Yeah, it's the same one as before. Who knew a vending machine was just as good as a mole? Got lots of fun species around here, eh? I'll say, I think I talked about this earlier, but factoid of the day... Because, you know, Smash Bros. is the only game that Mother 3 is even kind of related to. Uh, Duster, Duster Spirit was the first one I ever maxed out. He was also one of the first ones I ever got. Same with Teddy. But Teddy's Mother won. That's not as exciting. I really kind of focused the Mother dudes. Oh, hey! Hey, do you think your mask off when you go to the bathroom? No, I leave it on. Why, you take yours off? You with all the trouble in the bathroom? You go all the trouble of putting it back on when you're done? Yeah, I go through the trouble. I mean, there is a place to hang your mask and all. Man, you're dumb. That's not for hanging masks. That's where you put handbags and umbrellas and stuff like that. Oh. Oh, so those were masks. So that's why it's been so hard to hang my mask there. Hey, you, what's your guy's problem? What are you looking at? Ah, uh, he's... <gasps> what's all the ruckus? What in blazes it? Sir, I wasn't aware you were here, sir. Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Well, your shabby outfit will set a bad example to the men, Commander. Here, I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Please, put them on right away, sir. Likewise for the folks accompanying you, too. This is, this is a Smash Bros. fact. Why is this costume not at Smash Bros.? All right, that's better. I better turn to my duties. We're now Commander Lucas. Looks like there's been some sort of misunderstanding, but it's perfect for us. Find the thing before they find out who we are. Also, uh, I think off the top of my head, you never fight a yellow pig mask. Where did they get this mask? And are there are there dog pig masks? Is that what these are for? Oh, there's a lot of clay dudes. Oh, well, there's a lot of clay dudes. So this thunder tower not only is you know a thunder tower, but it also makes the clay guys, huh? That other factory. That other factory must just repair them, or at least dig up the minerals, because they seem to be, like, getting mass-produced over here or something like that. Because you got a big old pile of clay going on. Uh, here's a present from the bottom of my heart, sir. Uh, I always wanted to do this for you. I mean, weird reasons, though. It's strictly in a, like a friend sense. You got a secret herb, dude! You felt something warm inside of your heart. No, I'm very sorry, sir. 
I'm gonna be sorry, I was making mistakes. Hey. I get free stuff by talking to these guys? I was watching Clayman assembly line. Time becomes like a blur to me. Huh? When Clayman break down and malfunction, they take themselves to the garbage area. Talk about convenient. Oh, these must be the repair place and the factories where they're made. Okay. Well, no, there's like a... See, like, look at this. There's even like a stamp where they, like, make them. So, no, this is like a... The process place. Oh, shit! That's another tier. Saw so out of control clean man running the back door. If you're looking for it, you better hurry. We'll get stuff inside a garbage truck and take it to the dump. Still, what in the world did you hide in it? Some crazy to get you in such a tizzy. Oh, can't say. That's sound embarrassing, then, huh? Yeah, at this point of the game, we've seen four tiers of Pigman. Pink, blue, green, and now white. And white has a fancy cape, so I'm assuming they're the highest. I'm guessing it goes pink, blue, green, white. Sounds reasonable enough. I wanted to talk to that guy. Oh, it's your boy. He's, he's having some problems. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Can't let it get. Also, another neat touch. The uh, pig mask that's Duster, he still has a limp. Like, this pig mask has a limping animation. It's unique to Duster in the pig mask disguise. Just, it's the little touches, you know? Only got a little bit more time for today, so let's just chase down this trash can McGee over there and see where it takes us. Oh, I don't want to know what is that a roadhog? Please, I don't know what this is called. Tell me it's a roadhog. It's a wound up roadhog. I was totally right. <laughs> Part of this is me thinking of a pun based on road and, like, pigs. And part of this is me remembering it. Puns are easy to come up with if you're in the right, right mindset, but you, but you can't force them. That's how you get genuinely bad puns when they're forced. Scrapped robot. Oh, he's really dead. Wow. Are you telling me that's not an... Oh, yeah, there's no insta-kill on back text. It's right. anti -pralism. What are you doing? Watch where you're going. It's a pork bean. It's you, Commander. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Uh, for, from the looks of it, it appears you mistakenly threw something in the garbage. If you're headed to the garbage dump, please, follow the truck in this. Garbage dump is in the northeast of here. Please, hurry after it. Retrieve whatever best thing it was you accidentally threw away. Be careful not to slip and get in an accident. Alright then, be careful. Immediately. Oh shit, it's the big dude. Oh, oh Commander, are you alright? Ah, the damn facades have been tossing banana peels all over the place, so it's easy to slip on them. Here, you can take my pork bean if you like. Huh? Not sure why, but you smell like a dog and a kid. You're that kid from Club Titaboo! Maybe you think you could fool everyone else. There's no fool in my wild nose. You sneaky piece of scum pretending to be our commander. Oh shit, son. The fierce pork trooper, baby. Oh, by the way, you wanna know why I got this? Because if you remember the description, it said DCMC fans would go wild for it. If you still somehow have a piece of DCMC uh, paraphernalia, show it to them. 
I act I sold uh, Duster Shorts, or else those would also work. Scary Mask, lower his offense, lower his offense, and snip. Well, it's good to lower offense first. It's just a, it's, I mean, why not, you know? Smells like a person, smells like it's weak against fire, smells like it's weak against DCMC stuff. Your powerful swing. Oh, shit, perform t special techniques. Do you see him Fierce Pork Trooper is utterly mesmerized by the DCMC merchandise. He's a super fan, and so is really into it. Here you go, Duster. Because you can't do your standard thing. Let's lower his offense one more time and hit him. Fierce Pork Trooper is now jealous. Oh, that's quality. Offense up on Duster. Give him one more. Let's give an offense up to Boney. Kick him. Lower his defense. And then after this, we'll just unload on the guy. We don't need to go too hard because if you have a DCMC, it kind of gimps this man inherently. He's still jealous. Look at this. This man can barely even play the game right now. Lower his defense one more time. I'm already hitting for 126. Yeah, I don't think I need to use this much PSI, but at the same time, this is decently cheap, so it's whatever. Oh, Fierce Pork Trooper turned back to normal. And then he, okay, yeah, like, oh, the DCM thing wore off. Here. Do you want another one? Because, oh, it's not even consumed, by the way. He just likes looking at it. Can I genuinely just, like, Pork Trooper said some nasty, horrible things. Can I genuinely, like, stun lock this man with just DCMC shit? Because that'd be amazing. Yes, I can. Fantastic. It just hit him, like, yeah, and I did not need to use all this PSI, but he's still tanky enough for me to be like, yeah, all right. Buff up some offense, lower his defense, and just use basics to take him out. Like, I, this is, dude's is not even, like, a boss. He's just, like, a mini-boss. Even then, you can gimp him. I did it. Mission accomplished. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. Alright. Without the present, there's a pickled veggie plate on the inside. Nice. Not bad. Don't think this is over just yet. Nice touch, by the way. Getting the pork bean? One, five, for the final thing today, I got two things to show off before we head off. You can slip on the banana peels, and it does make you spin out of control. One thing you can also do is you can hit these dudes and, like, oh, you can't. But you can instantly kill enemies. But one final thing is this. How do, how do I get out? There we go. Is this guy. The dude who sent us off to begin with. He passed out. <laughs> uh, let's go back and save. Oh. That joke I was trying to say earlier is every time you're up on this walkway, the item guy is down there. And when you were walking by down there, the item guy is up here. There's no in-between. Alright. Looks like that's going to be it for today. So anyway... Just like that, we got some decent progress. Got, you know, Duster. Got Kumatora. We kicked the shit out of some sentient furniture. And bats and rats and... No, well, not cats. And then, you know, got Duster's ultimate weapon and we've not made a guy get knocked out. It was a good time. But anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And, peace. <laughs>